this is a video of a photo of my kitchen. It's uh, my freezer and my fridge and my kitchen. There's a bunch of items in there. Um, it's funny doing this project because my aunt's freezer just broke today and I helped her move all of her produce into three other freezers. It was pretty funny. Um, so what do I have in my freezer and fridge? I have leftovers. These were consumed shortly after this photograph was taken. This is a frozen banana. Um, this is actually my roommate's. Um, a banana looks like it's made of leather actually, but it's still banana. Um, it's in the freezer. Shrimps, which are also in the freezer. Um, we have apple soda in the fridge. And 0% alcohol. And we have real butter. And, um, it looks like there's a little over a quarter cup of butter left. So, this is my fridge. What would I do without my fridge freezer? What if we lived in a world where there was nothing like this? What would it look like? Well, here's what I imagined. This box that you could have in your home that irradiates food. Um, this would be a great revolution in food. You'd be able to eat meat that was like raw meat. Like you could eat, you know, raw turkey. Um, might not taste the best, but you would never have to worry about foodborne illness. This actually would be a great way to reduce disease. Reduce disease. And um, my so how it works is right here I have a, a, a rectangle cube. The bottom layer is water. In the water, there's cobalt-60. Cobalt-60 is a radioactive isotope of cobalt, and it, it irradiates food, pushing radiation through it without um, destroying the integrity of the food. So cobalt-60 is kept for safety in a water bath, and when you want to radiate it, you close the, the container. It has a radiation shield, you see. Close the container. And um, the, the cobalt-60 goes out of the water up into the storage zone. And it can irradiate things like leftovers, shrimps, real butter, <laughs> without any problem. Um, and everything becomes safe. And um, it requires no electricity. Cobalt-60 might have to be replaced once every um, five and a half years. But that's just because that's the half-life of cobalt-60. It might also not really need much upkeep. Um, but it would be a great space saver, electricity saver. Um, although it could be a danger because cobalt-60 can be weaponized into a dirty bomb. So there'd be some danger there. And there's also some danger if you get outside of this radiation shield zone. So no putting children in there. No putting any live animals. That would be um, carcinogenic. But there's a lot of carcinogens, so cobalt-60 wouldn't be the worst of them. So what about a frozen banana and apple soda? Well, the problems there is that these are, you know, frozen or cooled for pleasure, not really serving any um, function. It's just nice to have a cold soda. So 